they haven't succeeded in this competition for three years, whereas yet they're st- sticking with the same strategies. What does forty four twelve say about the second string? Well, it's not a it's not a great reflection on a on a team that you know Leinster used to be able to get through the URC or whatever it was called at the time. Regardless of what team they put out, they'd be ultra competitive and will win the vast majority majority of their games. And they've only lost three regular season games this season, but they have left themselves open in the, this competition to not getting the home run, which is what their target has been. And when you look at the names on the paper last weekend, it was a pretty good team. You know, it wasn't a, it, it, it didn't look like a very callow team. The, the team that lost to Pretoria last year was quite callow. They 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 sent a lot of players back. They didn't travel with a full complement like you know, again like this season. And it just shows that maybe the lack of games during the Six Nations means that this team haven't played enough rugby, that these players are, are, are coming into this a little bit cold. What does it say to the players when they leave the, the frontliners back in Dublin and travel with this squad? You know, Where does it leave them in terms of kind of the end of the season and they're placing the pecking order? You wonder whether some of them are just getting a bit sick of kind of being a B, you know, a B team or who knows. But it, it definitely came out in a, you know, the fact that they're conceding a try within the first minute or two of the game. They never got out of blocks. They... They were inaccurate in their attack. It was just, it was sloppy. Mm-hmm. And I know again, altitude's tough, and and playing the Lions, who are you know they're probably better than their league position. They're they're really quick and transition. You know they pick up the ball. Any, anything loose, they'll pick it up and run it home. They're, they're just able to score from anywhere. But Leinster should have tactically been re- ready for that. But uh, I mean, Neen Abbott's flown home. So was Andrew Goodman. Everything's focused on next week. So, so the players that are left they, over there... They were out for the game at the week. They were out for the first game and, and then come back. Home. Yeah, because a lot of the Irish players were given a week off. And, you know, yeah. IRFU mandated week off. So, yeah, it's a bit... Um, Similar last year, wasn't it? The coaching ticket were split. Yeah, yeah, and it was the same. And they won their first game. So they kind of they got the points they needed. But okay. they really could do win in one of these two games just to give themselves the comfort to, to be able to manage the rest of the season. But it's tight. They kind of, like, if they lose at the weekend, they lose top spot. Um, if they win against Northampton, then they're trying to play again, balance the the URC games in between. Not you know the the, the semi final and the final of Europe, and mm. Europe is everything to them, and it just leaves them a bit open. And they haven't won this tournament for three years, so they've they've kind of mismanaged. That's a pretty strong word, but if they haven't succeeded in this competition for three years, whereas yet they're st- sticking with the same strategy. So um, I know Luke would would be quite strong, and he thinks the whole team should have travelled and got two weeks bonding together and trained together and. You know, not played both games, but they maybe could have mixed and matched and kept the momentum going. Um, I kind of agree with that. Although the RFU saying you have to give players a week off means that like this is an obvious one to do it. But um, yeah, like I don't think it'll affect the Northampton performance. But if if Northampton beat them or they lose to Toulouse in the final, um, they may have kind of not scuppered because they're well capable of going away to any team in the URC and winning. But it definitely undermines their chances of winning this tournament.